Welcome to Society of Amateur Radio Astronomers. This is Radio Astronomy, Constant Variables and Formulas. Lesson three, thermal noise. Thermal noise is also known as Johnson Nyquist noise. It's the electronic noise generated by the thermal agitation of the charge carriers, which are usually electrons, inside an electrical conductor at equilibrium. This happens regardless of any applied voltage. Thermal noise is present in all electrical circuits and in sensitive electronic equipment such as radio receivers. This can drown out weak signals and can be the limiting factor on sensitivity of electrical measuring instruments. Thermal noise increases with temperature. Some sensitive electronic equipment such as radio telescopes receive, uh, receivers are cooled to cryogenic temperatures to reduce thermal noise in their circuits. Calculate thermal noise. Thermal noise is equal to the Boltzmann's constant, which is joules uh, over degrees Kelvin, times temperature in Kelvin, times your bandwidth being measured in Hertz. So the basic equation, the result you get in Watts is equal to 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23rd joules per degree Kelvin times 290 degrees times one hertz gives you about four times 10 to the minus 21 watts. Note that the conversion from joules hertz to watts, a hertz is really one over second and a joule and a watt is the joules over second. So using that hertz and the joules, you get watts. Now, once you get this number in watts, you want to convert it to dB. So you do 10 times, you take the log of that number in watts times 10. And that'll give you 203.9 dB. Minus 203.9 dB. Let's do example. If the temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit and your bandwidth is one megahertz, what is the thermal noise? Well, we know the equation for temperature. Let's, we need to convert that to Kelvin. So degrees Kelvin is equal to quantity of temperature in Fahrenheit plus 459.67, all times five ninths. So 90 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 305.4 degrees Kelvin. Now going back to our equation for thermal noise in Watts, you plug in all the numbers, Boltzmann's constant, the temperature in Kelvin, which we just calculated, and your bandwidth, which is one times 10 to the six hertz, which is equal to one megahertz. And that gives you 4.214 times 10 to the minus 21 watts. If you convert that to dB, you take log of the watts times 10, and that gives you minus 203.7 dB. Let's do one more. If your temperature is five degrees Fahrenheit, so that's a lot cooler, and your bandwidth is 20 megahertz, first thing you do is you convert that five degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin. That'll give you 258.2 degrees Kelvin. If you plug all that into the equation, including your 20 times 10 to the six hertz, which is your 20 megahertz, that gives you 7.126 times 10 to the minus 21 watts. Let's convert that to dB, and you get minus 201.5 dB. Now, some people like these answers in dBm. If you want that, then that's first you're going to do is convert your watts number to milliwatts, and a watt is equal to 1,000 milliwatts. So that means that 7.126 times 10 to the minus 21 watts is equal to 7.126 times 10 to the minus 18 milliwatts. So thermal noise is equal to the log of that in milliwatts times 10. That gives you minus 171.5 dBm. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you'd like to join Sarah and start your hobby of amateur radio astronomy, visit our website www.radio-astronomy.org. Thank you very much.